Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I'm going to be talking to you today about Tesla turbines. And I'm going to be showing you some basic principles you can use to make one out of these, regular DVDs or CDs. All the videos that I've seen, they use either washers or magnets to hold these together. So you have spacers here that act something like that. Because there's an object physically placed between these on all sides all the way down, what you end up with is water or air pushing against the magnet or the washer, whatever the case may be in there. This disrupts the flow inside of here and it also causes all of the pressure to go against the magnets and washers. So basically you end up with a homemade impeller more or less. To have a true Tesla turbine, you would need these mounted in the center and you need them spaced like so. Well. One interesting characteristic of DVDs that a lot of people have overlooked, this tiny ridge raises the DVD or CD from the other DVD or CD, the equivalent of about two sheets of paper. It is a very thin space. So as we push on one side of the stack, we can express that, and you can see that all the way down, there's tiny spaces. Now, because these are so close together, you're probably not going to get more than air through there. If you try to run water through this, the molecules are not going to flow really well and you're just going to end up with kind of a big mess. So, what you can do is this. Take one DVD, flip it over, place the other DVD on top of it so both rings are facing each other, and you now have about a sixteenth of an inch space, perfect for water or fluids. So if you wanted to make a pump, you could do that. If you wanted to use water as your propellant, you could do that as well. This will also work for air. The minor drawback to this is that you do end up with two DVDs that are back to back and you lose a little bit of space there, but an entire stack, it's well worth it for that. You end up with many, many more surfaces per foot than you would with any other form of putting them together. What's more, because you're using what's naturally there, these DVDs and CDs are perfectly balanced and designed to spin at four to 5,000 RPMs. So by not altering it, placing objects there, which will make it virtually impossible to balance, you're using what's already there. So by gluing an entire stack together at this tiny ring, you now have a Tesla turbine that's already balanced by the company that made these and that's ready to be used. So I hope this helped you. Now in a future video, I'm gonna make a Tesla turbine out of this and we're gonna do some RPM tests on it with some high pressured air and some water. I've got a concept halfway done, but I just wanted to give you a quick update on this, and thank you for watching.